Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode. Today we begin with Frankfurt as our first game of the day, following on from our 1-0 defeat in the last episode at the beginning of the new season of course. If you missed the last episode, we also made our England debut in the European Championships without spoiling it. If you want to check that out, go and do it now because I'm about to spoil the result of that. Um, but of course... It was annoying. We ended up losing. We lost to Spain, I believe, in the quarterfinals, was it? Or the, no, the semifinals. And they went on to win the European Championships. I can't see the game there. Um, but yeah, they won it. So a bit frustrating, um, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So we're looking to bounce back with the first game of today against Frankfurt. And when you're watching this episode, depending on when it goes out... Um, if I don't reply to any comments, uh, I am actually away. I'm in Madrid for the weekend, so um, I'm going to the League of Legends World Championships. So yeah, if I don't reply to any comments, that's the reason why. I'll try my best to reply once I am back. But let's head off into our first game of the day. And this is the team selected for the game. Berkey in goal, Paslak, Koulibaly, Bernat and Varane at the back four. Guerrero, Delaney, Mario Goetze and Sancho in the midfield. Myself just in behind Alcacer. I don't know why Goetze is in a more deeper role. But that's where he's starting in this one. And also Varane at right back. We should have just put Paslak at right back and moved Benat to left back. Said it in the last episode. I don't know why it does this. But hey-ho, at least it's a strong team. Into game we go. Here is Guerrero. Finds us with an easy ball. We've gone back towards the feet of Mario Goetze. Goetze towards us. Space to hit the shot, maybe. Didn't quite catch it as I would have hoped. But so far in the game, we're struggling to unlock the Frankfurt defence. So I thought I'd try one. And see where it went. The answer is nowhere near. Not good enough. And that's the first shot, really, of the game for Dortmund. And you don't want to be seeing that too much. High over the crossbar. Here is Doss for Frankfurt. Ball through. Kostic has scored. Past the half an hour mark. I mean, again, you expect this, though, don't you? You've seen how we started off the season. You knew it was probably going to be just one chance that they would need. It's like clockwork at this point. Clockwork. You just expect it. Berkey beating his near post. We had a chance just before this to actually win back possession. We didn't take it. Um, we didn't even try and challenge when it was further up. But at that point, when you're allowing through, as I am talking about trying to unlock Frankfurt's defence, they've done absolutely nothing in this first half. And there's the opening goal of the game. And they didn't even have to work hard to unlock our defence. Alcacer lets it run towards us. There's the pass through towards Goethe. And surely it is. Frankfurt won, Dortmund won, back on level terms. We finally got through this tough defence. And Mario Goetze has scored. It was a really nice move as well. But this is what we should be able to do on a regular occurrence. So far today, we've not had it until now. Number 11 through to number 10. And Mario Goetze finishes it off. Pretty much a similar scenario to how uh, Frankfurt actually took the lead. But there's the equalising goal then. Exactly what we were looking for. Now we need to push on and try and find another one. To get in front and really take the game to Frankfurt. Sancho's ball for me inside the penalty area now then. Looking for the next pass. There's the ball back and what a challenge by Dyer. Unbelievable defending. I didn't feel comfortable taking the shot on the right foot. Maybe should have just had it. So instead look for the pass. Sancho's there and Jaden Sancho's shot. Into the hands of Trap. So I looked for the cutback towards the feet of Alcacer. And Eric Dyer surely there has saved the goal. Because Alcacer should finish it if he gets it in that position. Great defending. And we've, try, we've tried to find another chance in this half. And it's just at the moment doesn't seem like it's coming. Dinier transfer confirmed. He's joined us. And hang on a second because Berkey has to make a save. Oh, they've done nothing again. Why is it we get caught by one attack and we're nearly behind again? They've actually done nothing. Two minutes to play here. And that is my game over with. We're substituted for Canales. And at the moment, I don't see a winning goal in the game for either team as time ticks away. We've tried. We've had so much of the ball. But we've just not been good enough when it's mattered. Alcacer's delivery in towards the box. Easily dealt with by Dyer, And that is it from uh, this game here. So, no win for us. It is the draw. It's not a defeat at least, but it's only a point. And for the amount of possession that we had in that game... We really should have got more. Time now for our second game of the day where we take on Mainz. And also Witzel is back following his suspension after that red card in the first game of the season. So there's the team. Just one change and that's Witzel in for Mario Goetze. But then again, Goetze scored the goal. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that. But we'll see how this one goes. I've also just had the news that I've been called up to England for some World Cup qualifiers. So we might get that in today's episode as well. I don't know when those games are coming, but um, yeah, we called up for them, so hopefully we'll play in them. 
must try and get the three points here. Please, can we finally get a win on the board? I'm saying finally, it's been two games, but I, I just look back at this and think to myself, after the start we had last season, I really don't want that again. Sancho, we win it back and it's nicely done as well as Witzel finds the ball through to us. And we are in with a really good chance now of making this 1-0. Oh, are you joking? What on earth have I just done there? Oh, I should have gone near post. I knew as soon as I was bearing down on goal, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, I was going to go near post. And last second, I thought, no, let me, uh, let me just slot it past him with the finesse shot. What a chance wasted. Oh, I can only apologise. Uh, that was appalling from me. I mean, you don't get much easier chances than that. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. That should be bread and butter. And I somehow haven't scored it. I mean, you have to give credit to the goalkeeper who's made the save. But it wasn't a good finish at all by me. And just like that, we're 1-0 down. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely apologise. I can't believe I've missed that. Elsewhere at the moment, Leipzig are winning by three goals to nil. I'm pretty sure they'll have won all three of their opening games then. Which will put them top. And they'll be eight points clear of us as Hazard looks for the ball across. We've got 55 minutes into this game here and it remains 1-0. So as it stands, if Leipzig have won all their games, they are eight clear, which is a big lead after only three games. As we look to try and break through here. And I've just conceded possession with ease. I mean, I am having a horrific game here. I wouldn't be surprised if we get substituted off. I just can't seem to find my rhythm. Here is Witzel. We found him with a pass and that's a brilliant save. 22 minutes left, I thought for sure. That was 1-1. One, one. He got some power behind this shot. And somehow the goalkeepers kept it out with the right hand. What a save. 22 minutes left. Mario Gertz is on for Paco Alcacer. There's the header for Koulibaly. And it's over the bar. This has got 1-0 written all over it. Oh, man. Bernat finds us with the pass. There's the ball back towards Delaney. Delaney off towards us again. As we're breaking through. Referee. Oh, man, that should be at least a yellow card. That's, that's appalling, man. I'm through as well. Surely tell me he's getting booked, right? I was going to say, you better book him for that now, then. It's going to be a free kick in a really good area as well. There you go. There is the booking for Malong. And it's going to be a free kick. Who will take this, though? It has to be near perfect from Mario Goetze to please put it in the back of the net. Goetze with the free kick. It's over the wall. It's off the bar. And Mendy's there. Offside flag stays down. Seven minutes to play. Dortmund back on level terms. I thought we were going to see the offside flag. We didn't. And Mendy has scored, I believe, his first Dortmund goal. And what a time to get it. One apiece now then. Seven minutes left. Can we find a winner? Gertz's free kick. Off of, was it the bar or was it the... Uh, yeah, it was the bar. And there it is. Mendy on hand to tap home. Dortmund won. Mainz won. 30 seconds left here, and that is going to be that. Koulibaly brings down his man, and that's going to be a yellow card as well, I think, to follow. But it's just frustration from Dortmund at the moment, who can't seem to find any rhythm in their play. The second half of last season was fantastic from as We put together a great run of results. I thought we'd build on that. And no, we're back to the start of the series, Dortmund, it seems like. Two points from a possible nine. That's outrageously bad. And, uh, yeah, it's going to leave us sort of mid-table, if not down near the bottom again. I know we're only three games in, but this is how we started last season. We ended up losing the title by three points. So it feels like we're there again. We've got three hours left of deadline day, and we've had a loan offer for us. It's to a very interesting team as well. But before we check out that, Dortmund have just brought in Karim Benzema for £35 million. So... There's a new striker at the club to uh, to give a little bit of pressure to Alcacer. Um, Karim Benzema has come in 85 rated, but he is a centre forward. So I don't know where he will actually play. Now, the thing is here, we've, we've actually got a loan offer, right? And I, I do kind of like the look of this team. Let me just check out where they are currently in the league. It's in the French league. Um, and it's a team I've never actually played for before in a My Player series. So um, I have played for PSG before in My Player series. They're 4-4 four and four right now. Um, for, P uh, for PSG, not dropped a single point yet. And the team who've come in with a loan offer for us are actually Marseille. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of intrigued to maybe go there, given the way our season has started. The, uh, doesn't, this league table looks a little bit weird, does it not? Yeah, I think like they haven't set it up properly. But 
Marseille are the team who've made a loan offer for us. Now, I think it would be great to go out and loan and sort of clear our head and come back to Dortmund a new player and maybe then really push for a Bundesliga title. And at some point as well, I do want to move elsewhere. Um, it's just, do I feel like I have enough to be able to bring to this Dortmund team in order to help us win a league title? Obviously, three points away last time, last season. I've not started the season off well at all. Is it worth me not hindering the team by going out on loan, allowing them to play Julian Brandt in the cam role and giving them a real opportunity and me kind of going and making sure I can um, I can learn my trade elsewhere at Marseille? You know, it's, it's not unheard of. You've got the likes of James Rodriguez did it for Real Madrid when he wasn't really playing the best. He's obviously gone out on loan to Bayern. Um, similar with Coutinho. He's now at Bayern in, I, I, in real life as well, on loan from Barcelona with a potential to maybe go there in future for a permanent deal. Honestly... I need to think about this. Okay, so I've made up my mind and I've decided that I will accept this offer. I'll go out on loan for the season to Marseille on deadline day to hopefully kind of just give myself a bit of time away from Dortmund and then come back next season, hopefully a better player and, and then really mount a push for the Bundesliga title. Now, I'm not sure if Marseille are playing in any uh, continental competitions. We will find that out in just a few moments. Um, and as you can see, we've been welcomed to the team as well. We've been given the number 19 shirt, but I think I'll take the number 10 for the season. I don't know who has it, so I'll check that out first. But I think I'll take the number 10. So a team I've never played for. I'm quite optimistic about this. Um, I, I'm quite looking forward to it as well. So let me have a quick look and see who is uh, who is in this Marseille team to see if we can really mount a push for the Bundesliga title. Uh, sorry, for the, uh, the Lagoon title as well. So in terms of the players... They've got, it looks like a very interesting team. Mandanda in goal is probably the best goalkeeper. Scott McKenna at centre-back. Retsos, Domet. So yeah, it's not the best team in the world, but it's a team that I feel like is going to give me a lot of opportunity in. Now the question is, will I start surely over Dimitri Payet, right? Who is retiring at the end of the season. So I should get game time. Torvan's still here. I should get a lot of opportunities as well to make things happen. Uh, players at the club too. I'm looking forward to this. Marseille at the moment are also playing in the Europa League, so it will give us an opportunity to play some Europa League football too in this uh, in this season, which is quite good. Um, but for now then, let's move into our first, or sorry, not our first game, our first England game of today as we end off deadline day, having joined Marseille on loan. Hopefully you understand why I've done this. I just want some time away from Dortmund. The season has not started off well at all. I don't want a repeat of last year. So I feel like me moving gives the team the best opportunity moving forward. It means Brandt will play. It means I can go and get some game time as well. So uh, all parties should profit from this. We are selected as well to play for England in this World Cup qualifier at Wembley Stadium. Redmond on the left, Sterling on the right, Kane up front, midfield three of Ali, myself and Henderson. A strong England team. Gives me a little bit more to, uh, opportunity to grow as well playing for England again. Of course, the only games I have played have been in the European Championships. I don't think we did badly at all. We got our first England goal. We got our first England an, a, a assist. 27 minutes in. Corner ball, Romania. As they uh, send it in, Redmond will head it away. But at the moment, England not controlling the game as you would expect. And Pickford with the first save of the game. Yeah, I came into this expecting one-way traffic. England to dominate the play and have a lot of the ball and it's not panned out like that so far in this uh, in this first half as there's the ball up towards Sterling he sent it straight back though just about keep hold of it referee and that's and that's so bad here's Harry Kane though for England finds Redmond Redmond through towards us looking for the finish and that's how you answer being taken out in the center of the pitch England two I'm uh, sorry England one Romania nil I don't know where I got two from as that's the first goal of the game Second goal, I should say, of our career, maybe, in England colours. That's what I was looking for. Harry Kane towards Redmond. Let's it go one more. The runners off the ball for England. Just too much for Romania to track. Near post finish. That's what I should have done in the earlier game we played for Dortmund when I got through one-on-one. -on -one. But I second-guessed myself. Went to finesse it instead. This time, picked the, fair, picked the near post and smashed it there. 1-0. Deli Ali wins possession for England in the midfield area. Now there's a chance again for us to break here against Romania. There's the ball off towards Ali. Ali inside the area looking for the next pass. Instead goes for the shot. And it's back off of the post. Four minutes to go until half time. That could have been England's second of the game. It was nicely worked as well. Ali wins back possession in midfield. We feed it back towards him. And now then, 
Romania coming forward, but it's forced forward and Stones has it back. Luke Shaw should keep possession and does for England. And that will be it, it seems like, for the first half of football here. Unless there's one last chance in the half for us. Sterling, great knockdown towards us. Harry Kane's in behind. Kane, lovely play. Can he find the return? Yes, he can. Brilliant move. What a move by England. That's two. It's our third in England colours as well. What a move. That was brilliant. I said it would be it for the first half of football. I was wrong. There was one more opportunity in it. And you love to see moves like this. The ball in towards Kane. I was looking back maybe for the first time return. Instead took the touch. Finished it off as well. Get in. Here is Harry Kane. There's a chance here for maybe a hat-trick. If I can finish this off. And we can. The second half has just got underway. And it's a hat-trick. A hat-trick in England colours for us. That's brilliant. I'm so, so happy because the way I've played today, I feel like I've let down some of the, uh, the Borussia Dortmund fans in my earlier performances, hence why we're now out on loan. But I've come here for England and we've really put in a display. Hat-trick as well, taking the match ball home with us. It's not often you get a hat-trick from midfield, but when you do, you just have to enjoy it. Here is Andone for Romania, allowed in towards the box. There's the cross, there's the header. I mean, why is Pickford stood still? That was such a bad header and it nearly actually went in. Pickford, react please, because that, that was poor. And there is full time here at Wembley. England 3, Romania 0. All three of them coming from us. A match ball as well to add to it. Fantastic display. I'm happy because uh, after the performances earlier on, it now gives me a little bit of... Confidence moving forward. Slovenia up next for England, but we are not picked for it. So we will sim this game. It's away from home. And hopefully the boys can still get a result here. Let's see what the final score will be. 2-1 victory. Deli Ali and Ben Chilwell with the goals. Very close though, wasn't it? And there's a red card in there as well for Struner. Um, so yeah, a little bit closer than we would have liked. But it's still the three points for England. Here we go then. Our debut for Marseille is against Lille. Away from home, the team looks good. Mandana in goal, Dummett, Coletta Carlato and uh, Kedziora. With Strootman, myself and Ronji here in the midfield. Player Torvan and Radonic, Radonic, is it? At the left wing spot. Um, but yeah, we're looking at Torvan and Player to be scoring the goals. I'm going to try my hardest as well to set them up as best I can. We've been given the number 10 shirt. A lot of responsibility on our shoulders here. Let's see if we can live up to it. Immediately into the action. Strootman finds us. There's the ball out towards Torvan. Torvan back inside. Looking for the first chance of the game. Here is player. Looking for the shots. And already an instant impact in France for us. Six minutes into the game. Player has scored. Marseille lead by a goal to nil. Instant impact as well. You love to see it. I have a really good feeling about our time in France here this season. Lovely move. Torvan finds us back with the ball. And that is a fantastic finish as well. I said I wanted to give PSG a run for their money. Can we do it with Marseille? We're only here for the year. But I have a really good feeling about it. Here come Lille though in a good spell of possession as they look for the way through. Trying to just stop them in their tracks. Delivery's good. But the header is not quite. And Mandanda catches it with ease. They've dominated the possession start here, Lille. We've struggled to get on the ball quite a bit so far. But... At the moment, we do lead, and that's the only uh, stat that really matters. Rongier on the ball now for Marseille. Of course, as well, it doesn't matter how much of the ball you have if you use it better, as Torvan finds us with the pass. It's a similar looking uh, attack to the one that gave us the goal, but this time I can't find the correct ball, and we lose possession again. And Lille again look for the attack with a Kone bursting down the right hand side. I've got a choice here either go and stop him or try and cut out the pass. Nowhere near. He's just made a fool of me, and thankfully, it hasn't worked out. That was poor defending, though, by me. I, I actually can't seem to start my feet quick enough here to get out either. Bit of pressure on us in the uh, last stages of this first half. Two minutes left in the game. Marseille currently holding on to a 1-0 lead. A lot of possession for Lille, but no goal to show for it. And a great win back as well. Sets us going again on the attack. Now looking at chewing the clock down and just making sure we get the point here. Or the points, I should say, as players ball through does not work out. 30 seconds left. What a first performance we have put in here in France. Lille nil, Marseille won. We played a part for the goal. We had to defend for large parts of the game as well. I will say this, we put in a shift there. A massive victory as well. And what a way to introduce ourselves to the fans here at Marseille. 1-0.
And this is where we will end today's episode of fourth place in the French League. Three points behind PSG, three points behind Monaco and a single point behind Saint-Etienne. I will try and keep you updated as well with their performances over at Dortmund and see how they progress in the Bundesliga. The first game of next episode, though, will feature a Europa League tie when we take on FC Sion in the first group stage game. In a group stage, it involves Atlanta, uh, Atalanta sorry, and uh, Basaskier, is it? I don't actually know if I've said that right. I apologise if I have not. Um, for the Champions League group, of course, Dortmund are playing in the Champions League this year. They have been drawn into, wow, Valencia, Manchester United and Dynamo Kiev. They've already played Dynamo Kiev and beaten them. So we currently top the group in that one for Dortmund. But now we have a job to do with Marseille. I said I was optimistic about this season. I very much am. If you've enjoyed today's episode, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, a massive thank you for all of your support on the channel as well. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. And as I mentioned earlier, I am currently away in Madrid at the moment for the League of Legends World Championships. So in that case, I will try and really uh, reply to any comments or anything like that when I get back. So until next time, have a great day, have a great evening. And I'll catch you all again soon. Adios.